Good morning, YouTube. It is 4.11 on this Friday, end of the week again. Um, today's topic is uh, the Airlander 10. Ooh. Way too early. Or that Higgs the chromosomes space the electrons like the magnetism all particles and momentum of receptors radiation are mathematics a solution asteroid what am I doing up um what is the airlander 10 the airlander 10 is a uh, it's officially known as a lighter than air aircraft it's a blimp is what it is um, now you're thinking blimp but what is this? So the Airlander 10 has hit the news. Um, you know, really, we don't really use blimps except for sporting events. You, you know about the Goodyear blimp, right? Um, huh. You know, I'm not even sure what the Goodyear blimp does. Maybe, maybe it holds a camera uh, to get to get some some uh, high aerial footage of sporting events but um, you know some like if you're at a dome or whatever you're obviously not going to see much so the airlander 10 is a is a blimp that has been in development for for a number of years now uh, we haven't really used blimps since the zeppelin since uh, the hindenburg Hindenburg was uh, the the famous Zeppelin that uh, burned up. Um, now they're not really sure if it was the hydrogen <laughs> that was in the Hindenburg or if it was the material, um, but it did burn up. And ever since then, we haven't really been using uh, blimps at all. Now <clears throat> the Airlander 10 is going to use helium. Um, which is not explosive. It's a, it's a um, inert gas, a royal, uh, royal. It's not called a royal element. It, it's the one on, the, on the far side of the table. Um, it doesn't react to stuff. Uh, the material that that the, that it's made out of will be, um, or is uh, a mix of carbon fiber. Kevlar and Mylar. So um, I forget what the the Hindenburg was made out of. That stuff was really um, highly flammable. So that contributed to to its demise. Uh, this Airlander 10. Let's let's see some design specs here. It'll be huge. When it's made, it'll be the largest aircraft uh, that we have. It'll be longer than uh, a soccer field the soccer pitch um, it'll be uh, it'll be able to carry 10 tons which is amazing um, that's a whole lot of material lifting power uh, it, it the design will be a little different than a standard blimp though it'll it'll have a um, a lifting body design if if you let's explain what a lifting body is um, lifting body is is a shape that when the air flows over it it creates lift so uh, an airfoil is a lifting body um, but with this the actual body of the blimp will be shaped such that when air flows over it it, it wants to to rise so it'll have that it'll have its um, it'll have <sighs> excuse me um, I think it's going to have, uh, diesel engines. Uh, they, they want to make, it's going to be a green, they want it to be, uh, fairly environmentally friendly, so they'll probably use biodiesel with it. Um, yeah, originally it was designed for, uh, it's a British design, and it was originally designed for U.S. military but I guess the U.S. military backed out because, you know, interest in um, in um, blimps has has really faltered. And like I said, we haven't really used it since the the Hindenburg. But there's been interest to bring it back, and then, you know, that interest will die. And then a couple years later, 
more interest will, will exist to, to bring it back and then that'll die and you know lately the US government so the US government pulled out of this design but I guess there's British backing to uh, actually move forward with this and they want the Airlander 10 to to enter service uh, next year sometime 2016 sometime so we'll be looking for that um, kinda interesting to bring back blimps NASA has some interest in blimps um, border patrol uh, rescue maybe not rescue but like disaster um, disaster relief is interested in blimps because you know you can take off from anywhere land anywhere you don't need like a large well you need something large enough to accommodate the size of the blimp but you don't need like oh that just turned on you you don't need like a runway or whatever so um it can carry 10 tons so you know the they were talking a little bit about how um maybe um you know those poles for those wind turbines like if if you're trying to build a wind turbine farm those poles are really heavy and the only way to move them right now is to plow a road and and have trucks carry them well you know if they could get a blimp to do that then they don't have to destroy uh, forests and, and whatnot to plow a road so so there's various interests here and there uh, to bring blimps back into service and um, it'll, it'll be like I said it'll be interesting uh, to have something that large come back uh with with such a great role um like i said it'll be the largest aircraft if it comes into service it'll be the largest aircraft that we have right now so kind of fun um you know i always see blimp as a little a little bit low tech because you know i'm always thinking about high performance airplanes and spaceships but you know if it if it if it fits the need why not use it you know um helicopters they can hover but they don't, can't really carry that much uh 10 tons is a lot of stuff so you know there's need it's might as well might as well get it and use it okay um i gotta get to work you gotta go do whatever it is you do i'll talk to you tomorrow no it's the weekend <laughs> have a good weekend we'll talk to you on monday <laughs>